Oh, this is Pat Walker, Mission Winners. Happy New Year, everybody. New Year's, boy, they go fast. And let's go back and just reflect a little bit and think about this. This is my challenge to you. What did you do well? What did you not do so well? What are areas that you can improve on? We don't sugarcoat it. We take a look and say, I did really good with this. I got to stick doing this. Uh, these are some areas where maybe I let my losses get too big or I got sloppy in my investing and my chart reading. Ponder that, take notes, and every year is an opportunity to get better. Can I? Constant and never ending improvement. Why do we look at the ETFs? It's not because we like to look at a ton of charts, all right? But here's a fact for you leading groups produce leading stocks, leading stocks produce leading groups. We look at the ETFs to see if there's strength in a group. Then we can narrow it down and look at some of the leading stocks in the group. Or if we see weakness, it tells us to avoid it. Opposite sides of the same coin and both sides help us make money, help us make coin. There's my little pun for the day. So here we go. Here's the, this is the Dow Jones leverage, DDM. And you can see it's been trending up and that's nice to see. Now it is a little bit extended, okay? So just don't get sloppy with it. Continue onwards. And here we go. First Trust, Dorsey Wright. This one owns a lot of technology stocks. It's been rallying up nicely, steadily trending. Pulled back here just a little bit. Not too bad. The trend is up. Note this, folks, and this is for everybody. Trends pay. Ride trends. You can sell some into strength, but ride some trends and let the stock work for you. It will help you. Gold miners. Now flip the coin on this and you can say, this doesn't look so good. And here's a great lesson for everybody. Look at this. It runs up and gaps down. That's a tail bar right there. It runs up and they drop it right back down. Runs up and reverses down. Tail bar. Runs up, drops the next bar. Runs up and reverses down. Tail bar. Runs up. Next day, the gaps down on heavier volume. There's selling going on at this point in time. There's selling. You can see it in the chart. Don't argue with it. Simply get in line with it. At this time, leave it alone. Continue onwards. Gold is a little bit better. Gold doesn't look too bad, okay? But you look at the gold miners, it's pretty sloppy. So be a little careful with gold too, by the way. That's a tail bar right there. Look at that. It runs, oh, look at that. It's closing near the highs on buying. Boom, they slam it right back down. Just be aware of that. A little bit of distribution. Now, decent weekly breakout here. So watch it and see what happens. Needs price and volume. Continue onward. Biotechnology is acting decent. And here's a great lesson for everybody. This is why we look at the weekly and the daily. You look at the daily and say, yeah, that looks okay. But then you look at the weekly and go, man, that was a long base breakout. There you go. Now, I'm not saying buy it here, but combine both in your analysis, the weekly chart and the daily chart. It will really help you. <clears throat> Oil and gas is lagging. I just showed you something that looked decent. Look at this. There's nothing here. Don't overthink it. Just leave it alone. There's nothing to do with it. Move on to the next one. It's that simple. Technology to software has been doing well. Are we involved in technology and software? Oh yeah. Have we been for a while? Oh yeah. And it's trending. It's trending nicely. Trending up the eight EMA. Look at that. Is that beautiful? There you go. Now I'm not saying buy it here, but it broke through these tops right in here, right through here. Volume was low and then it followed through on a pickup in volume and it's just gently trending on up. By the way, look at this bottom bar here. Look at the volume. These are the things to look for. And you can see it in the daily chart too. Look at the green bars, green volume bars. They bought it. Nothing to do with it now, but just pointing it out and showing you the tactics to work with. IHI, medicine slowly grinding up, okay? And maybe it'll continue. It's a little bit extended and there's no real clean entry here. There was a clean entry here, but it's extended in price. The moral here is it looks good, but be careful buying extended stocks. Continue onwards. S&P mid cap, grinding up a little bit. You know, it looks nice. It's trending up. You just get in line with it. Is there anything to do with it right now? No, but it does tell you. And it has told us, hey, mid cap stocks don't look too bad. Continue onwards. Aerospace and defense. Look at the trend here. Look at the 8 EMA. One bar it closed below. Every other bar, this thing's been trending nicely. By the way, on this bar, no, the volume wasn't that heavy, was it? The selling volume right there. Good entry and trends pay. Is there anything to do with it now? No, not really, but it's been an opportunity. Home construction. Look at this base right here. Look at the weekly. Look at the daily. You see the volume surge right there? Yep, and we own it. But this is what we look for, folks. 
and it's working and we own it and we're letting it work. We'll see where it goes. And yeah, it's trending up. What does it tell you? S&P 500 growth. And you know this, growth stocks, they've been working. There you go. Continue on. Nothing to do with it. Just let it work. IWM small cap. It's also been participating. It tells us the rally is, is a spread out. It's just not big cap stocks doing it. It's mid cap and small cap too. Nothing to do with it here, but you'll see what it does. By the way, a little bit of selling volume came into it. And some of that could be tax, tax maneuvering, just to tell you. Um, real estate steadily grinding up. That's nice to see. Transport. Now you can look at the weekly or the daily and you go, oh, I see that base, but look at the weekly. How about that? That could be an opportunity. That's something to watch. But always remember, focus on clean and simple, backed by volume. That'll help you. Continue onwards. Regional banking is acting okay. Okay. There was a base down here that you can see right through here. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And it's slowly trending. Is there anything to do with it? Oh, there's a little base here. Nothing super special, but regional banks don't look too bad. Continue onward. Mid-cap's been steadily trending up. I'm not saying buy it here because there was some selling coming to the close on Friday. All right. But it's been steadily trending and it says, hey, that's an area we could be looking into and have looked into. Mid-cap stocks. Oil services. Now look at this. This is great. Here's the mid-cap trending up the ADMA. That's the yellow line. Okay, and here is the oil services trending down the 50 day. What does that tell you? In one second, it says, stay away from me. That's it. It's great to know what to look for. And it's just as powerful to know what to avoid. Both things help us. Pharmaceuticals are acting decent, trending upwards. We'll maybe look into some pharmaceuticals. QLD, we're involved in some NASDAQ, big max list stocks. And it's been trending up nicely. And it has for a while. Look at this base right here. And yeah, it's told us. And we're involved in quite a few. Uh, in fact, I think it's 20 plus 25 maybe. And a good portion of them are NASDAQ growth stocks. There we go. And we've been in them for a while. It's not like we just bought them. We've been riding trends, just to let you know. Same thing's true with QQQ. Retailing is acting decent. Maybe looking at some retailing stocks. Silver sloppy. Look at the difference here. That's trending up the eight. This is sloppy. Stay away from it. There's nothing to do with it at this point in time, and it's wide and loose. Leave that alone. Steel's acting decent, but it's pulling back just a little bit, but not too bad. SMH, see this base on SMH? And there was a well in down here too. We own semiconductor stocks, and we have for a while, and they're working. Intel's been one of them. I love that. Spider's steadily grinding up. It says the market's rally's okay. There we go. Continue onwards. SSO, same situation. Trending up. There we go. A little bit of selling. I wanted to point this out. A little bit of selling coming into the close. That was just positioning into the end of the year. And it happens and it's something to remember. The last day or two at the end of the year can be a little interesting. And it was here. But it's still fine. The trend is up, folks. Just ride it. It will stop someday. I'm not being a cheerleader. I'm just pointing out, looking at reality. Continue on with SSO as I went through. Solar's grinding up, but look at all the overhead on the weekly. This is why we look at weekly and so the daily looks pretty good. Look at all this. That's selling. There's potential selling all the way up. Be careful with solar. Okay. Small cap. Look at what it did on the weekly. It runs up and reverses down. Drops here on a pickup in volume. Still above the rising 80 and it's trended. So it's a, it tells us something. It's not just the big stocks that are going up. Small stocks are moving too. Small cap stocks, good to know. Oil, U.S. oil, what does that tell you? In one second, looking at this and this, so I'm staying away from oil. Done. You don't need to overthink it. Maybe it'll bottom here. Why play the maybe game? We stack the deck and find strength and buy that. Consumer discretionary is acting decent right here. I'm just basing a little bit, but not bad. Aerospace and defense, tr steadily trending. That's nice to see. Look into that. Biotechnology doesn't look too bad. What's the moral of the story? There are pockets of strength out there that we've exploited, and I'm sure you have too. This is why I look at the ETFs once or twice a day. Home builders? Yeah, and we're involved in home builders big. Okay. And why? Well, look at the weekly base breakout and look at the daily trend. There you go. Continue onwards. How do you build things like houses? With materials. Materials is acting decent, okay? Clean tops across here. It needs to push through there. A little bit of selling into the close of the year, okay? Not the end of the world. Things to be aware of. 
Communications is acting okay. Energy, another energy ETF. What does it tell you? Stay away from energy. And it's been telling us to stay away from energy. And we have. Financials are acting good, and that's good to see. Trending nicely. Look at the trend of the AVMA. Trends pay more than anything else you'll do, team. You don't need to day trade. You don't need to scalp. You don't need to look at five-minute charts. Ride trends. Industrials trending nicely also. That's good. What are these things telling us? The rally's in good shape. That's all. Technology, and it's in good shape in many different sectors. It's not like, well, the only thing moving is technology. No, there's a lot of stuff moving. You participate in them. And these ETF scans, which I produce every, I do this every day with the VIPs, tells us where's, my, where's the money going and where's the money leaving. Consumer staples is acting okay, but look, you can say the daily looks good, but look at the weekly. Be a little careful with consumer staples. Continue onwards. Healthcare is grinding up. Look at, you can say, hey, that doesn't look too bad. But then you look over here and you say, that looks pretty good. There you go. Something to look into. Healthcare stocks. You can punch up, by the way, XLV and just find out their top 10 holdings. That will help you. Continue onward, consumer discretionary, acting decent also. And again, this is the eight period exponential moving average. It's something to look into. There's a lot of work in that moving average, a lot of research folks with a fellow VIP, my brother from another mother. I mean, a lot of study and back testing on that sucker. And it's trending and it's still trending. Nothing really to do with it now, but it does tell us for a while, consumer discretionary has been okay. Metals and mining still trending nicely. That's good to see. Another oil and gas ETF. What does that tell you? I mean, look at the, oh, that doesn't look too bad. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Oh, that doesn't look so good. See, and it's been telling us for a while, be careful with energy stocks. And we have one. Retail is acting decent, trending nicely, be involved with retail. Software, yeah, we're involved in software. Yes, we're involved in technology. And look at the trend of the ADMA. This stock has not closed below the ADMA since right there, November 9th. And it did right there today on a pickup in volume or yesterday. Okay, just some tax, tax situation selling. That's all. Challenge. Love the challenge. Let's keep on going. So let's take a look here. This is the max. So Apple, what do we want to see? I'll adjust that alert. We want to see this take out this spot right here with volume. Note on Friday, it fell on a slight pickup in volume. But there's a shelf here bouncing off the 21 day. Something to watch going forward. Apple. Amazon, I like this shelf here, and I'll draw this for you to help you. There's a shelf right in here, and it needs to lift off of there on volume. What did it do Friday? Well, there was some selling, some selling into it on a pickup in volume. Last investing day of the year, we'll watch and see. This stock's been real good to us through the years, and we'll be ready for it. Amazon, yeah, max list stock. Alibaba, do a compare and contrast. You can say, well, that's been kind of trending up. That's definitely trending up. They ain't doing nothing. Yeah, it's turning a corner a little bit, but it's below the falling 50-day. Leave it alone. There's better fish to fry. Tons of overhead supply on the daily and the weekly. Okay, let's stack the deck in our favor. Baidu's picking up a little bit, but it's a little sloppy here. Let's see if I can form a better base. Nothing to do with it. Move on. By the way, this is a very important tactic we teach admission winners. Taking stocks off the list narrows the focus on what we're looking at, narrows the list of what we're looking at, but it does something else. It improves our focus on what remains. I would rather know 10 to 15 stocks really well than to know 30 or 40 just so-so. We're looking for the best of the best. Now, let's analyze this. There was a downward sloping trend line on the weekly and it lifted off here. And here it is on the daily. There was a tail bar here. See where this gapped up? And then look at where it closed. Really not a lot of headway from there. And it rallied up on decreasing volume. And I'll draw this for you. This is an important lesson. These are the things we teach at Mission Winners. And it just kind of stalled out here. All right. And now it's pulled back, but it's pulling back on less volume than it went up on. What could be a potential entry? And I'll show you here real quick. Take out the tops of this bar with volume, bouncing off the rising 8 EMA. There's a lot of work in that 8 EMA moving average, folks. That didn't just happen. There's a year, over a year of study and back testing on that moving average. We were using that. <clears throat> we were using that the last century, by the way, just to let you know. Who had a profound impact on me with that moving average? Ed Sakota did. There we go. Let's move on. What a guy. Here we go. 
Goldman Sachs, if you don't know who it is, S-E-Y-K-O-T-A, read Market Wizards or just do a Google search on Ed Sakota. I met him years ago. Man, did he challenge me. And I'm glad he did. Here we go. Goldman Sachs. I like this base here. Look at the weekly. This is why we look at both weekly and daily. You look at the daily and you say, I see a little shelf there. And then you look at the weekly and you go, here's a cup and a handle there. What do we need to see? Take out these tops with volume. Something to watch. Goldman Sachs. Continue onwards. Intel's still working for us from down lower. You see this downward sloping or this line here? Look at that. Look at that cup and a handle. Look at the volume coming into it right here. And look at the march. That's what we look for. And it's working for us. It's working nice. There we go. Pulls back. And then it comes right back up. We'll do this and this. And here we go. And it's a trend. Trending on up on the weekly. Trending on up on the daily. We'll let it work and see where it goes. This would be nice if this could base for about another five days and then take out the highs of this bar. Something to look for. All right. There's Intel. Maxless stack. Continue onwards. MasterCard's slowly grinding up, okay? You can see here, there was a little entry there, but she got shaken out here. It's kind of chopping around. The action's a little tentative. Uh, be careful with that. It's just really not pushing at this point in time. Continue onward. There's Meta. Meta buys back here. Call it 130. Buys here and here and here. And that's a pretty good move, folks. From 130 to 350. Um, do the math. There we go. And yes, this was on the key list back here. And look at the clean and simple base there. Lift it up. And then there's another one there. We're in it. So what are we looking for now? Because you could all say, hey, this is great, Pat, but what about now? That's what we're interested in. And I respect that. It's support here on the 8 EMA. I would like this to base and get another bounce off the 8 EMA. I'm not saying it's going to, but we already have price alerts set. We've got a lower alert set because we own this from lower. By the way, you see the clean and simple base right there? There was an entry there too. It's basing here. Best thing it could do is base a couple more days and then take off. And we'll be prepared. Let's continue onwards. Microsoft. I like this base on Microsoft, folks. And what do you notice here? You want to see something neat? This is a great lesson. Look at the volume. Steadily picking up on this chart. Right? here. Isn't that great? That's what we look for. We're in good shape. Let it work and we'll see what happens. Continue onwards. Netflix. We're in Netflix from down lower and basing here. See this cup and a handle and you can see the handle right here and it lifted off. It's just basing here. If this can take out these tops across here in a good market. I'll draw it for you. Could take that line out there with volume. That could be a new buy or an add-on on Netflix. Continue onwards. Here's NVIDIA basing here. I like this base on NVIDIA. By the way, we owned this back here and here. And that was, well, was the biggest mover on the NASDAQ. And it worked. There's a higher low setup back here. Triggered on January 9th, folks. And that is just, those are moves that change your life. And yes, it was on the max list and it was on the key list back here for buy. So that's a fact. Basing right here. I like these tops here. And I'll do something to help you. That base, kind of a cup with a handle. Take this out. Look at the volume. Decent on that bar. Then it fell back on a little bit heavier volume. Just resting here. It needs to come across these tops with volume and a good market. That's what we're after. There's a Tesla. Tesla ran up and reverse back down. We bought it across this top here and it gapped up and then it started to fall and we sold this and we controlled risk. And man, I'm glad we did. I don't ever want any big problems. Just basing here. This needs to start lifting. They will have news coming out this week. Be aware of that. There's Visa has a small shelf right here. I'll draw it for you just to help. Perhaps it's okay. It's okay. Not a lot of accumulation in it. So we'll watch and see what happens. And there was serious distribution on that bar, just for what it's worth. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.